Hey everybody, I'm Zeke Trenzi, welcome back to Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. Last time we, um, into the bottom level from that elevator, and, uh, Lloyd and the gang disappeared because of a Daris emblem. Apparently Lord Ratatosk, uh, set a trap for anyone who had, uh, ties with Daris Carlon. And as they're poofed away somewhere deeper in here, we battled Dex and Alice. And, uh, they're destroyed, unfortunately. Um, Dex confessed his love to Alice, and she admitted that she loves him, too. She tried to attack Emil, and Merida laid the final blow on Alice. So, and now we're trying not to have the same fate happen for Richter. Um, we don't want to have to kill him, but it's looking like we have no choice. Anyway, we're at this, like, I don't know what you want to call that. It is freaking trippy, trippy and I love it. I'm gonna battle you. Let's have a battle. Let's! Wow, you're incredibly weak. Picked up a couple weapons. Uh, for Marta and, uh, Emil. But they're weaker than the ones we have, so... At your discretion if you want to use them. I'm sticking with power, so I don't want them. Was anyone surprised? We'll take them, but I'm not gonna use them. I didn't do anything in between videos, I just saved and came back here. Oh, that's just the way I came, that's right. So this is where I think Lloyd and everyone yeah, they're down there. They're over there if you can see them. Okay, we got red basil. I should start using this stuff. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Emil, Marta, Lloyd, you're all right. Fortunately, I'm the only one who wasn't affected. Have the others been turned to stone? How do you know? I'm sorry. It seems that I... I mean... Ratatos set a trap for the owners of the Daris Emblem. I see. That's why the Daris Emblem glowed. But why were you spared? Maybe because I have Martel's protection. Come on, we need to save everyone! Emil, you can save them, right? Yeah. Okay, then let's hurry! There's something I want to ask you. You've accepted the fact that you're Ratatosk, and made up your mind to do your duty and protect the door, correct? Yes. You're not thinking of letting Richter defeat you and turn yourself into a core so you can become a lock on the door. If you feel guilty about Aster and planning on doing that... No! I won't let Richter kill me! We don't have time for all this chit-chat! Sorry, we're coming! I trust you, Emil. Don't let me down. Lloyd joined. Oh, man. Bumbling idiot. That was a mistake. We should have left the Daris emblems behind. Were the Daris emblems something you needed during the journey of regeneration? Yeah, we couldn't have done it without them. Which is why I never expected them to work against us. I guess you can never tell. But Martel's protection is really powerful. No, I think it's only that way against Ratatosk. They're both tree spirits, so maybe they cancel each other out or something. You're probably right. Huh. Lloyd, you really know your stuff. I agree. I must admit I had my doubts after hearing so many people describe you as a fool and a bumbling idiot. But it would appear I was quite mistaken. And who exactly were these people? Uh, no, 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 no comment there. I don't have another skit. No, okay. Save point up there. Regular save point, not a healing one. There they are. There they are. Look at them. This is terrible. Emil, do something to help them. Right. Um, Tenebrae? The curse should dissolve as soon as you touch them. 
All right. I'll give it a try. Man, I can finally move. You were conscious? Yes. It was as if I was in a straitjacket and couldn't move at all. I could see everyone around me was petrified, so I just assumed I was too. That was horrible. My whole body was tingling. It felt like I was frozen in place. I'm sorry. It's my fault. You could not have foreseen these circumstances. Don't worry about it. Well, it looks like everyone's more or less back to normal. All right, now let's make up for lost time and kick some butt! Yeah, Emil needs all our help! You can count on us! Colette and everyone join. Tenebrae is being incredibly quiet. I'm putting Lloyd and Rain back up. I don't know why I did that, but anyway. Let's go! Uh oh. Centurion Aqua, are you aware of what you're doing? Yes, of course. Right now, I'm doing everything I can to make sure Lord Ratatosk never comes back again. Why did you decide to side with Richter and betray us? Because I want to help Master Richter avenge his friend. Master Richter and Aster first learned about Lord Ratatosk through their research of summoned spirits. They found me, and told me they wanted to advise Lord Ratatosk about the Centurions losing control. I brought them to the Ginoon Gagap, to the door to the Demonic Realm, just beyond here. But Lord Ratatosk simply refused to listen to what Master Richter and Aster had to say. I couldn't believe it. Instead, he lashed out at them because of his hatred of mankind. He killed Aster, and Master Richter was gravely wounded. After surviving the ordeal, Master Richter searched for the power to bring Aster back to life. That's it. So that's why he's forming a pact with demons. Yes. In return for resurrecting his friend, Master Richter will open the door, leading to Nibelheim. Whoa, wait a minute. Are you serious? Can't you see? You are the ones who are wrong! Lord Ratatosk ordered us to annihilate mankind! How can you possibly help him? He even took the form of Aster when appearing before Master Richter! He, the one responsible for his death! No one is going to make Master Richter suffer anymore! If I can help Master Richter avenge his friend, if I can help him grant his wish, then one thing's certain, I won't hesitate to kill Lord Ratatosk himself! Well, we have a fight on our hands. You know why Aqua is betraying us? Us as in the other Centurions. Oh, you poor And, 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 uh, what Richter's plans really is. He just wants to resurrect Aster. I mean, is that really bad? Uh, yeah, he's opening up the Demonic Realm. Hmm. But his heart's in the right place, or is his mind controlling his heart now, or could Aqua be like making him go mad? I don't know. This is Richter's last line of defense, so. And it's actually not going that bad. We have all our friends back. Of the 
<laughs> wow, that totally missed. Oh, Aqua. I think you have a crush on uh, Frichter as well to be doing this. I mean, you're definitely not going to end here. We're going to, you know, slap Aqua upside the head and get her to listen to reason. I mean, maybe Ronatosk wanted to kill everybody, but he's, you know, Emil's his conscience now. He knows he's at. Whoa, look at that damage 21,000. Almost done, Aqua. Gotcha. Phew, we won. Myra's level 62. Sweet. She turned her own body into a monster. Now she herself has also been hurt by the battle. Aqua, although you are a centurion, you love Victor. Master Richter, I was only able to buy you a little time. Please, forgive me. Marta, will you hold on to her for me? Okay, but aren't you going to make a pact with her? No, it can wait. I think it would be cruel to hatch her, and then form a pact with her right now. Oh, I understand. Aqua's core, and we'll learn skill Aqua, which is what? <laughs> which is what? Uh, Raining Fangs. Hello, I like Raining Fangs. Let's get in the battle and look at that. Now, if you went beyond that door, uh, you'd have to face Richter, and end of end of game. So that's the point of no return. Aqua's love. I still find it hard to believe that Centurions are capable of falling in love. I must admit my own surprise. However, just as cores may affect the hearts of people, a strong will may also affect the cores. I think I know what you mean. The human heart seems fragile, but it's actually pretty tough. Yeah. When someone feels anger or sadness, they can affect other people with their emotions. And sometimes there's nothing you can do to help them, even if you want to. But you can also spread positive emotions. And there are plenty of times when people's hearts are touched and they don't even realize it. That is true. Aqua must have been influenced by the strength of Richter's conviction, and it changed her. It may very well be your hearts that hold the key to success in the coming struggle. Hmm. Interesting. Keeping the promise. So, Lord Emil... You've come to ask if I'm really going to do this? Yes. I'm sorry, Tenebrae. I've made up my mind. I'm going to take on the role of Ratatosk. I know that's not what you want to hear. I will keep my promise to you. Hmm? I am your Centurion. Whatever you have decided, I will obey you to the end. Thank you. At least Tenebrae obeys. Let's quick save. Any more skits? I want to get into a battle so I can show off Aqua's power, raining fangs. But yeah, that's end of game over that way, which we're not doing yet. We're going to go back and do some of the S rank quests get them finished up before we actually finish the game. So right there, there you go. All those raining fangs, up or down? Up? Let's do this! Rising fang! Rising fang! Rising fang? Maybe rain fang? Whatever. Pretty cool, I guess. 
easy way to get some, um... Water-based element monsters, but... You're amazing, Lloyd! I can do it too! Third of all, going yeah. back. And it's really bright there, wow. <laughs> anyway. We'll just take that off. Just want to show it. I want my X attack too. Um, yeah, this is another short one, but, you know, I don't want to get any anything else. I don't want to end the game yet. But, uh, we'll go back to the guild and we'll start doing those quests, even though we're significantly underleveled still, but you know, good for a challenge, get some more, get a level. I'd like to get at least level 65 to 70 before I do the final battle. And look at the encounter rate. I almost got a thousand. I'd like to get that too. Anyway, we'll end it off here for today, and next day we I will meet you at the Cats Guild. And we'll start taking on some quests. Gotta finish up all these loose ends, and here's another battle. <laughs> Just because. Just because. I Get around. Get, come here, buddy, bunny. Come here, you silly bunny. Ooh, this might be a twofer. Cause they're very close. Very close. Uh, it is a twofer. Did I get two of them though? I did. Ha! <laughs> oh. Who uses a freaking bow and arrow? It hits every time. <laughs> there you go. We've no time for silly games. Ooh. Okay, I definitely want like high 60s for the uh, final battle. If I get 70, all the better. Should be fine though. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the monster graveyard and end it off. Hope this is the right way. Yes, it is. Here we go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're, we're almost done with the game. That's crazy. It seems like yesterday I was starting chapter... 7. <laughs> wow. Well, then again, I've been recording straight since chapter 7. <laughs> yeah. Or is it 8? I don't remember. <laughs> I've been recording straight for a while. How about that? <laughs> Keeping up the momentum. It's good momentum. Anyway, uh, next day we'll meet you at the Cat's Guild and we'll start taking on some of those quests before we finish off the game. I'm Azuka23, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.